speaker. The next speaker is Honorable Mulder. Honorable Chairperson, <coughs> today we are debating the budget of Parliament, the highest legislative authority in the Republic. Now, the Speaker is the head of the legislative branch of the state. In that respect, she's on the same level as the Deputy President and the Chief Justice. Parliament is a cornerstone of our democracy, but I'm sorry to say, as we debate today, the image of Parliament is in tatters. In my 28 years in Parliament, I can safely say that the level of debates, the interactions between members and political parties have never been at such a low level as that we have now. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. We have become the laughing stock of ordinary South African citizens. The member who is crying about the apartheid parliament, there's your deputy minister of sport, tell him, tell him as well, okay? So wake up, wake up. The problem is our parliament has become the laughing stock of South Africa and the citizens out there. And it's not the fault of the good officials that work here. No, how embarrassing must it be for the officials to say, I am working at parliament. No, the fault is somewhere else. Parliament has become the victim of a blood feud between the real ANC Youth League, currently dressed in red, and the ANC under the current leadership of President Zuma. In the run-up to the 2014 Honourable election... Honourable Mulder, yes. will you just take your seat? Yes, Honourable Member, why are you rising? Uh, uh, Honourable Chair, um, we are not the uh, ANC Youth League. This is the economic... What, is, what is the you point of order? to us as the real ANC Youth League. We are the economic freedom fighters. Thank you for the information, Honourable Member. Continue, Honourable Mulder. I'm, I'm glad that the Honourable Member thinks that he's the EFF. You are the ANC Youth League, currently dressed in red. Now, the point, Chairman, is that this feud between... Honourable, Chair, Honourable Mulder, will you take your seat, please? Yes, Honourable Member. May I address you? Yes. Continuously, the member on the podium keeps on referring to us and associating us with ANC failures. You need to rule on o that. Honourable we are member. not ANC Youth League members. Thank you, we Honourable are Member. We economic freedom fighters. You need to rule on that. Thank you, Honourable Member. Will you take your seat? Honourable Mulder, will you refer to the Honourable Members to the party that is represented in Parliament, please? I can do that, Honourable Chairperson. Order, Honourable Members. Yes. Oh, really? Now, the problem, Chairperson, is that in this feud between the EFF and the ANC, and we must also be quite clear that the EFF quite clearly stated their objective when they came to Parliament before 2014. They clearly said, we intend to bring the revolution to Parliament. That was on record and we all know that and the member agrees with that. And in that process, to do that, they need to get rid of President Zuma and they want to defeat the ANC. Now, in reaction to that, the ANC decided obviously to do everything in their power to protect the Honourable President and to protect the ANC. But the problem is this. This is done regardless of the truth, regardless of the law, regardless of the Constitution, regardless of Parliament, regardless of the solemn oath each and every one of them swore, regardless of South Africa. Why? Because the ANC is everything. And because of this feud, Parliament has become in disrepute in terms of public perceptions. This non-august chamber that voted not once, but twice to exonerate President Zuma, that twice said that it was okay for him to ignore the public protector, that ignored the law and the constitution in doing so. The National Assembly was duty bound to hold the president and executive accountable by facilitating and ensuring compliance with the decisions of the public protector. But the ANC majority in this house deliberately decided not to do so. And then they have the audacity afterwards to come and say, we in parliament failed. No, we in Parliament did not fail. The ANC majority in Parliament failed. The Honourable Gina earlier this afternoon referred and said there's no view of an ANC leader that cannot be challenged. So who of you challenged the advice that you received to accept the proposals by the ad hoc committee? Did anybody challenge that? No, nobody did. That the grondwetlike hof sy uitspraak gemaakt het soos hy gemaakt het nie. Dit was voorspelbaar. Want daar is nie een enkele argument wat die grondwetlike hof aangevoer het. 
wat niet reeds in hierdie parlement gestel was in die ad hoc komitee gestel was. Die feite was uitgespeeld voor de ANC, you were not prepared to listen because in your defense of the ANC, you brought this parliament into disrepute. And this feud will continue, and parliament will lose, and people will laugh at Honourable us. Honorable member, your time is now expired. Thank you, sir. Thank you.